this is the official motion media tutorial on how to use the WYSIWYG editor in the back end of the Drupal websites that motion media builds for you. Now, WYSIWYG means what you see is what you get, which is very, very basic. The idea is that you don't have to deal with any of the content or the custom code that goes into creating content on the web. An example of what that code would look like is if you hit the source button up here on the side and you see P, which means paragraph. It's just something you do not need to worry about. So we're just going to go over some basic uses of what the WYSIWYG editor will do for you. The first thing that we can do is we can add a link. It's very simple and very easy to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to another window here. And let's say I was searching motion media on Google and I wanted to copy this link into the WYSIWYG editor to show on my website. So I'm going to copy the link out of the address bar, go back to the WYSIWYG editor, put in motion, media, Google, search, and then I'm going to just highlight that, really simple, and press the link button right here with the globe around it. As you can see, it's link. I'm going to click link. It's going to pop up. We're going to paste that URL in there. It'll automatically get rid of the HTTP if it's there. We also want to go to target, the tab target. Now, good little secret of the web is you always want to use blank, underscore blank, which opens up all links in new windows, therefore allowing people to stay on your site longer. So once we've done that, we'll click OK, and there you go. Simply, your link is in there. There are very basic operations that you can do. Simply highlight a string of text that you need, and then you can bold it by pressing the B, uh, italic, and underline. All very simple. You can unclick them if you don't need them, and go on and so forth. Most of these little buttons are self-explanatory, and you, they're very basic to use. Uh, there's aligning tools, which is center left or right. Uh, there's bullet points. You can set up bullet points or number points, uh, indentation, and such like that. One of the other things that I'm going to explain here is how to copy Word documents or Word text into the WYSIWYG editor. It's not just basically copying text. There is a little bit more to it. So if we open up a Word document, and I've already put in this example text here in Word, We'll just copy that. It's simple, the same way you do any other copy. Command or Control C on any computer or copy by right clicking. If we go back to our WYSIWYG edi editor, look at a new paragraph. We want to click on the Word button that's up at the top there. It looks like a little file with the icon of Word. Click that button, and then we get this little text box here. And we'll paste Command V or Control V on most computers, or right click Paste and then click OK. And that will configure it into the proper source code we need it into rather than the stylings of Word. One of the final things I want to show you how to do is how to add a image inside your content, around your content, or underneath or above your content. So we pick anywhere in this text body that we want to insert the image. We put our cursor there. Let's just say at the very end here. And then we find the image icon in the toolbar up above. It's right beside the F that's red. It's image. So a little pop-up will come here, and we want to click on the Upload tab. It's very simple, very basic, looks familiar. We want to browse our computer. And we're just going to pick a generic image that I have here. It's a bird. And then what we want to do is send it to the server so that it's being stored on the website space on the Internet, basically. Now we can add alternative text, and this is always a good idea because this actually helps with search ranking. So let's just call it Twitter Bird. Uh, this is the size it is. We can manipulate the size. We can change it to 150, and it will auto-correct the height or the width, whichever one you do. Uh, we can change the alignment. This is where I was saying left or right. Let's put it right of the text. Other than that, we look good. You press OK. And there you go, it's in your content. You can actually click and drag it, move it around if you wanted to, but it doesn't seem to work. Um, you can add in other images as well, it's up to you. It's very simple. The final thing we want to do is preview what we've done. 
So if we scroll down here, outside of the WYSIWYG editor, we can go to Preview. Click on Preview. And at the very top of the page, this is just the content of the site, and it'll be highlighted in actually yellow here, I think. We can see the changes that we made. We've added in this text, we've added in this picture, we've created this link, and you'd see any bold or underlined or italic type font or text in here that you would have made. You can always just scroll down and make other changes as necessary. And then once you're done, all you have to do is click save at the very bottom. But we're not going to save that for this tutorial. This is just a tutorial on a website. So that's how to use the WYSIWYG editor for Motion Media's websites built with Drupal. We'll see you next time.